guys welcome to my youtube channel if you are a newbie or it's your freaking first time bumping into this place or into this channel you are welcome join the family gear cozy let's be friends because i want to be friends with all of you so i did a poll on instagram and i asked you guys to pick between a story time video or my current favorites video and a story time one so that's what we're gonna do today so this is actually my very first story time on youtube so i'm really really excited and i hope you guys are going to enjoy this kinds of videos because i obviously want to do more of this kinds of videos so without any further ado let's get into this story time <sighs> that was extra just before i start this video disclaimer i'm missing a nail and if you guys know me you know i talk with my hands all the time i'm just like So, you're going to ignore that I'm missing a nail and we're just going to get on with this video. Oh my god, it's like I have a cold. And if you have a snack, if you have a drink, if you want to sip on some wine or juice or crepes or popcorn or whatever, get that because this story, I don't want you to be standing up and leaving or whatever, so just stick around throughout the whole thing. So, we have two friends involved in this and we're going to name them Ashley and Brittany all right and if you don't know me personally I'm going to give you a background like so that you can catch up and understand the environment and everything involved in the story time I host karaoke every Tuesday at Club Signature and there's also salsa so it was a typical Tuesday. I've gone to work before dancing, before singing, before having an amazing time, before drinking, before socializing. It's a vibe. It's like an amazing Tuesday night like it always is. I mean, period. So, oh, okay. So. Brittany had just moved out of home. She had her own house and she was like, we had talked earlier before we went for karaoke and she was like, I think you guys should like join me and we can do a housewarming after like we have slept and everything. And, and Ashley was like, I'm down. I think we should do that after karaoke, go to yours. And then during the day we can cook and vibe and just celebrate your new house or whatever. And then that was the plan. That everybody was down it was like okay that's what we're gonna do so i w usually it starts up from 7 till 10 and then from 10 to 12 i host the karaoke for those two hours obviously having like some breaks in between and then after that is just a normal rave it's just good ass music positive ass energy good vibrations all freaking night so i walked we sang we danced and after working i just joined my friends at our table and we were drinking and socializing and having a good time and just hanging out of like yeah just typical things that girls do when they go out and then it was like around two and i was getting tired because other than having a good time i was working that night and every time i'm working in hill so i'm usually so so tired my legs are killing me sometimes so at two i'm like i'm telling Brittany like i think we should be going now because i feel so so tired and then at this point she had drunk a little bit too much and she doesn't like going home when she's high whatever and too hyper so she was like i think i'm gonna give you guys the keys and i'm gonna stick around longer because i don't want to go to the house with this kind of energy i'm gonna find it hard for myself to sleep and because ashley knew the way to her house i was like cool that's fine we can do that and then you can join us 
later because I am so tired. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. I can't stay any longer. I am not having it. And then I talked to Ashley. Ashley was even more drunk than Brittany. Ikiwambia, it was bad. I don't know how things escalated so quickly, but these girls were like done, like done. So I talked to Ashley. I asked her, are you down? Can we go home now? And she was like, yeah, I feel like I'm too like drowsy and too, too tipsy. I think we should get going now. Then I was like, are you sure you remember the route? Like, do you know exactly where we're going? She was like, yeah, yeah, I got this. But I'm looking at her, I'm like, girl, actually, girl, I don't trust you that much. But anyway, she said she knows the route, so fine. We took the keys, I got the cab guy, and we was on our way already. So we're going, we're going, we're going. At this point, Ashley keeps dozing off in the cab. She keeps dozing off, like, she's just uh, uh, i'm like oh shit what if we already passed wherever we're going and we're just going deeper and deeper and deeper i keep waking her up and asking her like are we close she's like yeah yeah we're almost there we're almost there and then at some point we go to this big it's like a gated community yeah we get into the main gate and it's like gets everywhere and then she's like i'm not sure if this is like, I'm not so sure if we are at the right place. I'm not sure if like I can see the gate or whatever. I'm like, shit. What? Sorry. We what? And then she, she goes again. Oh, 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 I think, I think, yeah, I think it's, yeah, yeah. Just go a little bit like forward. And then I was like, Phew. at least we're not lost. And this is like almost clicking three at this point, yeah? And then we just get out, we get out of the taxi and then I pay the cab guy and he leaves. Oh, wait, this is where the drama and the shenanigans begin, all right? It is raining, mind you. It is three at night. We are at this location that I think we have arrived. We get to the gate. Ashley is trying to it's like Val, i don't think i have the keys i'm like what do you mean you don't have the keys like Brittany gave you the keys i show i saw her giving you the keys just just keep looking she's going through her bag she's like and then at this point she wants to cry and she's so so drunk it's, it's just terrible and i like put my hand in her freaking jumper and i find the keys i'm like can you just quit playing? Just open the freaking gate already. At this point, I'm beginning to get so agitated and so irritated. I'm just not having it. I just want to get into the house and just call it a night. She keeps put, putting this key in the padlock. My friend, I think it's, it's drizzling, it's raining. And then she's like, well, I think we took the wrong key. We took the wrong key. Eh? She's like, Brittany, I'm going to the wrong, the wrong key. Like, now I don't know. I'm like, are you kidding? No, seriously. Are you kidding me? We're getting rained on. It's three at night. We are stranded outside. We can't, like, knock at anybody's door and they're gonna like be opening the house for us with open arms oh my god come home i'm like really now what do we do so we tried we tried we tried it was not opening so i call the cab guy and i'm like yo rudy just come back and get us because the girl says the key's not opening and he's like hey you guys will just have to pay double because that place is really far and it's really muddy. Karibu ni kwame. Kama ntawarudia and I was closing kwa na kwa nyumba. So, kama ntawarudia, you guys will have to pay double. I'm like, the fuck, just come. It's not, it's three in the morning. Anything could happen to us. There might be like thugs walking around and they might just beat us up or just rob us 
or even very past at night, you just don't know. And I was like, okay, give me like 10 minutes, I'll be there. We're standing in the rain. My friend is drunk and crying. She just started crying from nowhere. She just started like crying. She's just crying. I'm like, oh shit, what kind of mess is this? And then the cab guy got there. He arrived and then we was walking. It was like really muddy because of the rain. So we were walking to the cab. Girl fell. Ashley fell like in the mud, like just in the mud mind you our friend that we left at the club her phone is off we're trying to reach out to her we can't find her so we just had to go back and find her practically practically oh my god i can't speak no more so that she can get the the right keys to like come back and maybe she's all right now and we can come home together at this point <clears throat> so ashley has mud all over her she's wearing a white top I can't forget and like black high-waisted pants and she's so upset at the, I'm like really how, wh why can't you just look where you're going like how are we gonna walk in town when you're looking like this and then this cab guy decides to be petty then he's like I'm like dude why are you being petty? Then he's like, hey, so I did too many pepper sacks. Yeah, car wash. Ah. Now at this point, I'm like, whatever. Let's just, let's just do whatever we're doing. She gets into the cab. We leave. We get to town. I tell the cab guy, okay, just stay here with my friend because you're going to take us back. I'm just going to get the keys and then we leave. I go back to the club, I find my, I, I ask my supervisors, my bosses, the waitresses, if they've seen my friend, because they know, like, we always hang out, like, the three of us, then they were like, she left, like, an hour ago, she just left after you guys, she left with the guy she was sitting with, I'm like, oh, shit, and I'm trying to call her, and I can't find her, what am I gonna do at this freaking point, I go back to the cab, and I pay the cab guy, and then I tell my friends, you know what, I'm feeling hungry right now because there's a restaurant, a 24 hours restaurant just next to the club at Maggie's. If you if, if you live in LA, you know, Maggie's is 24 hours open. She gets out of the of the um, of the cab, and the way the cab guys are usually very extra. The ones that are back around the club, they're just laughing and making a fuss out of everything. And I was like, you know what? Just ignore, just ignore, just ignore them. Let's just let's just move, just ignore. We go inside the um, the restaurant and i order coffee and then she starts sleeping she just starts sleeping in front of the table like uh, uh. and i am so pissed i am so mad at her i just can't and then i just started going ham at her like i'm like what's wrong with you i can't believe you did this to us what is this why did you do this da, 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 da. i'm just going on and on and on and on and on she got upset left the table went to the freaking bathroom of the restaurant and started boiling her eyes out she just locked herself inside and started crying so i'm sitting there it's like 10 minutes i'm like eh for too too long i go there try to call her nobody's responding the door is shut i can't hear a single sound at this point i'm panicking i'm like hey guys what if she's passed out and fell in the table or oh, not in the table in the in the toilet and hit her head and so yeah panic mode activated like i am panicking like way so i go call the, the waitresses and i'm like you guys my friend is locked inside the bathroom and i don't know what to do i'm talking to her she's not talking back and it was like all of a sudden we're like six people at the door trying to call her and trying to talk to her to get her to open the door and then it's like she she got scared when she had so many voices so she she decided to open up and i'm like are you okay what is going on are you okay and she's like you shouldn't be talking to me like that you made me feel bad and i was like oh i'm so sorry it's just that it's a terrible night and i'm having a terrible time just i'm so sorry let's just try and figure out what to do 
so we, we went back on the table we ordered some food it was just eaten and at that point i didn't even have my keys like for home so i couldn't come here because it was so late like i have to go through this it's it's a whole entire like it was like a whole entire process i was not having it so we just have to get we just have to find freaking britney and get the right keys so i am so devastated like i've thought of everything i can't think no more so we're just sitting there eating and just chilling and at this point it's almost like 4 30 almost 5 in the morning like the night just it just went off like that so i'm just i just keep trying to like ring britney her phone is still off ring her her phone is still off and then i don't know it's a miracle or like god is like oh my god this is too much for this girl let me just help help them out so we was just sitting at this point like i could see the door and i just see britney coming in with like this like two guys and like two girls it was like five of them i'm like oh, she's here then i just call her like Brittany, oh my god i can't believe you're here i can't believe you're here i can't believe you're here then she's like she's just standing there looking at me like so freaking confused like i don't understand what are you doing here and i'm like oh my god it seems that ashley took the wrong keys so we couldn't like get into the car and a lot of things happened it's a long story do you have the right keys can we just oh cutting the long story short britney said we didn't need the keys for anything we just had to push the gate really hard because the key was for her main door and we just wasted our time and money and energy and stress for nothing so we just waited for her to eat and we took another cab and we left and we just talked about it in the morning and we was like oh my god all that happened in one freaking night that night was so long it was so long <sighs> It was so long and i was so pissed but eventually we had a good time that day we hang out and yeah that's the end of my story time i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed this story time and if you guys would like me to do to be doing this kinds of videos do tell and i will honestly do it for you people if you haven't subscribed do subscribe if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a comment and a like and don't forget to share it i'll see you guys on my next video bye thank you so much for watching